Oath.com. Offer oh. valid totally valid. Transportation blue not included. Dinner not to exceed fifty US dollars or one dollars, whichever is less at the time of redemption. We have no idea what the currency exchange rate is on the moon. We totally made that part up. They sound cool, but there's no such thing as moon dollars. But it would be neat if there were. Kill it. Big on a huge in space. Created by a Navy SEAL for people who aren't Navy SEALs. The official energy drink of Space Force and other people who aren't Navy SEALs. The biggest no brainer in the history of drinks. The Clean Energy Drink and Sanford MMA present Rumble Time Live! Starring G.W. Garrison, Garrison, Chad Skelly, Skelly John Brinkus, and, and McDojo. Well, looks like it's another spooky season. But the only scary thing is, is that you don't have a boo. <laughs> Just kidding. I could change that though. <laughs> My man's got moves. If he moved like that, I won his number. Did you say moves or moves? <laughs> I said both. <laughs> it's, a oh, I guess. I guess. it's a dork a lantern. <laughs> 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 Which you will, a dork mean. lantern um all right nose uh, <clears throat> everybody welcome to rumble it. time live my name is john brinkus and we got gw garrison we got chaz skelly and we got mcdojo um listen i gotta tell you it seems like the whole country is totally satisfied and happy so we wanted to play a clip on how happy everyone is we want to get stoked that's what we want to do Stoked. Let's get stoked. Do we have, uh, Courtney, do we have that clip? Well, roll it. Let's roll it. Let's get stoked. <laughs> and you wonder why these videos we get need made. audio. <laughs> we just came out because we heard that there's tension in the air. The election's pretty close, and we just wanted to defuse the situation. And the best way we know how is just to go for an old fashioned streak and just boost everyone's stoke. You can't stop the stoke! <laughs> You're done. Let's go. Okay, come here. If anybody wants to join us in our streak, we have extra thongs. And that goes for you, officers. You have extra patty and stuff? <laughs> yeah, we all got little dicks. Don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> have a nice day, ma'am. I hope they ain't. Sir, technically, you are streaking with us now. Thank Absolutely you for streaking. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> we already streaked there. There's probably more people that need to get stoked down there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that is JT. Yeah. What's up? Dude. I listen to your guys' podcast. Oh, oh really? Oh, nice. Thanks. Nice. Thank there you. There it is. Pull it off the station. Hey. Somebody stoked, everybody. I'm sorry, I'm done. <laughs> Trying to get stoked. <laughs> Well, coming from you guys, it means a lot. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, relax, relax. Chad, come towards the police. No, no one wants a problem. We're just trying to raise stone. Stop. Let's Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 Let's go. Bye. Let's go. Straight it. Yeah. Stay stoked. We'll be back tomorrow. Wow. My uh, hero. Amazing. My stoke is through the roof right now. From yeah. watching. I'm super <laughs> stoked. I mean. Maybe. Why did we film this? This is just something I do like every Wednesday. <laughs> it, the world needs more stoke right now, and I think they're on something. I, I think I might be trying that tonight. Yeah. Totally. You know, the thing is, is that that wardrobe is perfectly legal. There's nothing illegal about it. They were wearing their masks. They were social distancing. Um, <laughs> you can have, it's you a can trend. have the, uh, the cheeks out like that. That's legal. Yeah, that is actually legal. kind of surprising. You can pull your that. cheeks out uh, as if that, long as you have the front covered. Dude, if that wasn't legal to show your cheeks like that, every plumber would be arrested right now. Yeah. Uh, what what's the uh, what's the bigger the bigger singer lady that wore an assless chaps to a basketball game? You know what I'm talking. Uh, about? Aren't all what is her name? What is her name? Is Courtney, her name? do we know the name of the uh, woman who wore assless it's like chaps a to a basketball game? Uh, what is it her is, name? It is an ass that I didn't want to see. Yeah, I know. Nobody All right. Well, yeah. we're going to be thinking about that. Let's move on to our first category of Bumbles. Um, we've got in our Bumble category, uh, the first clip, uh, G-Dub, why don't you introduce it? It's called Glass Maze Video. Why don't you do an amazing introduction? Well, you just introduced it, Brinkus. You called it well, I'm telling video. you, why don't you try? Well, I haven't seen it, but so all the information I have on the video, you just told everybody. So I'll say <laughs> but, you, but go ahead and introduce it. 
<laughs> okay, everyone, our first bumble of the week, Glass Maze Video. Roll Very good. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, Uh-oh. <laughs> Audio. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, play that emotion. again. Oh! 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 I wonder how many teeth they have to sweep up from that place every day. <laughs> Somebody's got to come in and like, wipe the blood stains off. <laughs> get your hands up, Jesus! And then um, whoever's doing the Windexing in there is doing an amazing job because uh, obviously no one can see where the glass is. Whoever yeah. decided to build a glass maze is an asshole. <laughs> and I love them. I love them. Honestly, they're like, hey, I'm about to do the coolest thing ever. Watch this. Why would you <laughs> run through hilarious. it with your hands down? It doesn't make any sense. He had his hands up at the beginning, put them down, paid the price, sweeping up teeth. I mean, maybe the joke is like they set a, a course record and they're like, yeah, we had a guy do this in like 30 seconds. You, you definitely can do that. It's like no one's ever done that. And he's just running through full speed, head first in the glass. That would be a pretty fun video to make with your friends if you uh, you find out where that glass maze is. Everybody has to jog through it with their hands tied behind their back. Oh, uh, dude. <laughs> we'd be sponsored, by, sponsored by Windex. <laughs> by exactly. I, um, all right, we, we want to move on to the next clip. It's called Tricycle Hot Rod. Chaz, why don't you give it a go of uh, doing a big introduction? Because what GW did kind of sucked. All right, we're going to go with the next video. It's called Tricycle Hot Rod. The inflection was a little <laughs> little off there. Do you want to change that? Just try one more time. Try one more time. Okay. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Let me get in character. Okay. We're going to go with the next Bumble video. It's called Tricycle Hot Rod. Jazz, why don't you give it a go? What GW did was a little bit lame. Why don't you quit a, introducing him first, Brinkus, and just let him do his thing? <laughs> do you get Do you get what I'm doing? I'm just trying. I'm just trying to tee you guys up to like knock it out of the park. And all you're, you're stealing is thunder. Doesn't even know how to inflect. You stole this. Th <laughs> you're a habitual thunder stealer. 100%. It's okay. That's what they. That's what they call me out on the street. They call me thund. They actually call me habitual thunder stealer. It's it's <laughs> HTS for short. So. <laughs> Roll it. Hold, hold the, the, the tricycle the clip. Make sure it has audio. Here we go. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You've got mail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> He's I mean, got a future, that kid. He's uh, got a future. Nothing better than kids face planting. Yeah. Yeah. He's I like I, uh, that little tricycle thing, though. It's pretty badass. AOL should have stepped up their game and had that ready. You know, like that's what plays before you open your mails. Is that kid face planting? You got mail. Coming in hot. <laughs> Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Um, all right, we're not gonna we're not gonna light up that video, but it was close because there's not a lot to play off of. Mm -mm. So I don't know who sent that. I don't know if it was Courtney or one of you guys, but we're gonna hold off on lighting it up. We're gonna go to the next one. This video is called Catwalk. McDojo, why don't you show them how to do it? Yeah, that's, that's probably not going to happen, but I mean, if you must. All right, here, here we go. go. Give, it, give it a go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Man. Here it is. I like you don't like them sweet cheeks. I don't even know what just happened there, but I love your I thought he was going to, dude, well, I, I thought he was going to light us up. I got like I got like two on. steps I could take in this little area. Like you, you got you got a little shake of the butt. That's all you get. Well, yeah. since McDojo doesn't want to introduce the clip, I'll do it. Ready? Here you go. Watch this, guys. Ready? All right. Our next clip is one that's called Catwalk. You said show us. Now, you didn't say introduce. I, <laughs> now get that up clip. there and shake it. I'll do it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh boy here let's see that again I built this catwalk wow she's ready to go I mean, it's oh. clearly marked <laughs> like there are black nice. circles for her to step on <laughs> you know what I've got a maze she needs to go through 
<laughs> this is I'd the like same asshole. Tonight. The same Dang. asshole that built that glass maze built that catwalk. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the same video. They just have high quality video cameras everywhere. Same building. Oh Here's God. what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a glass catwalk and a two hour open bar before the event starts. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Uh Courtney. That was uh that was pretty good. You got another one for us. I think it's called Pillow Fight. Let's uh let's roll roll uh Pillow Fight. It's going to be one of Chaz's fights. Might. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it is actually. I'm the guy. There we go. <laughs> oh! There was I mean, no mercy in that dojo. Hey. Hey. Hey, sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> I'll tell you. Full contact pillow fighting. Love I love it. that guy. I love that guy. Technically, it's, it's not domestic abuse. That's a that's equal <laughs> rights, sir. Or is you it? don't. First off, you don't talk about pillow club. But, <laughs> so we're breaking rule number one. First rule of pillow fights. So they say it's all fair in love and war. Which one was that? <laughs> I don't know. Can you play that clip again, though? Because that leg sweep, I mean, that is Cobra Kai right there. That was incredible. Like, it's incredible. Roll it. Look at this. Look at this. He's thinking what he can do. She's got pillow over her head. Leg sweep. Bam. That was beautiful head movement there on his part. Watch the, yeah. the bob and root the wee bob. He rolls under. Roll. I love, well, who's, who's recording this? Ow. Bam. Oh there are definitely levels to this shit, and she yeah. is not on it. <laughs> she is, ow! Oh, oh like man, I mean, she she loaded up so hard and threw that so slow, she made that guy look like Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> <laughs> so he threw so slow. I don't he know sweeps about the leg. She goes to the floor. You like your girlfriend, sister? I don't know who that is to that guy, but she's on the floor. She just hit her head. What do you do? You pound. You, you pound with the pillow. Whoever double it is. Over no head, windmill, pound to the face. Like kill that guy definitely Mortal played Kombat Mortal Kombat stuff. when he was younger. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Straight from um, the finishing move. <laughs> all right, since we're staying on the martial arts theme, let's go to the best training technique. This should be a good one. Best training <laughs> technique. We don't know what he's saying. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm not with all oh. He's really, uh... <laughs> I call shenanigans here because clearly you're using a competitor's clip. This is what is this? What is, what is this? <laughs> oh, whoa! This is wow! Look at that. Right about now, this guy's like, this is not what I signed up for for this seminar. Or maybe he? he's like, this is exactly what I signed up for. <laughs> hey, double for this seminar. I mean, oh. do you really, like, how many times does a guy have to grab your balls before you're, like, not in on it? <laughs> this could be literally, like, three different movies, depending on the soundtrack you put behind it. <laughs> what? Listen, my favorite techniques that I've ever learned as a mixed martial artist are the five on two. Yeah. Five on two. Yeah. And the over-the-shoulder boner holder. So I'm on board with this training. What about the oil check? That's a classic. It never goes in. Never goes in. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I I have never been in a fight, and now I want to get in a fight. <laughs> like, is that what happens? Like, you get groped? This is that awesome. Hey, there, there's a meme out there talking about uh, oil checking. And for those of you at home that don't know what oil checking is, it's basically when you check what your opponent had for lunch the day before. Uh, a long if a guy way. shoots in on a single leg or a double <laughs> leg, it's yeah. just a butt drag where you pull their butt and you try to come around behind. Sometimes you slip a couple fingers in the actual That's... hole. Man. So there's a <laughs> there's a meme out there that talks about uh, relating to butt dragging people. It's a guy, one guy's got his fingers in a guy's butt like this, and then the next one is a guy trying to get his USB cord in the back of his TV. <laughs> 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 it's the worst yeah. when you can't see it. It's almost basically the same thing. Yeah, exactly. I'll tell you what. You fighting folks have all the fun. <laughs> it ain't a bad gig. Well, 
damn it, Brinkus, get your unitard on. Let's go try this out, I, man. Yeah. I, listen, I got a unitard. Bader and I, you know, we had unitards on. We were kind of, I'm fine with unitards. I'm fine with taking my shirt off, taking my clothes off. And if that's what happens when you in a fight that you get caressed and someone checks your oil, that's just like a bonus to me. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, actually, I hated wrestling as a kid until the day that we practiced butt drags that I was hooked. Immediately fell in love. Yeah, it was love at first drag. <laughs> All right, listen, we're moving on, on to uh, beef of the week. Let's <laughs> go to beef funny. of the week, and it seems like we've got like some real like uh, we got sort of like people versus Halloween going on. Uh, who teed this up? Should Chaz tee, tee this up? I will. All I right. mean, if you'll allow me to, if you don't want to steal the thunder first, I got. <laughs> I, I didn't steal your thunder. Habitual okay. thunder stealer. <laughs> Line step <laughs> Okay, H-T-S. guys. So for the creep of the week segment, Halloween season just passed, and of course, there's going to be some pranks going on. So we've got four spooky pranks for you. Mmm. Let's roll it. <laughs> I'm super surprised you didn't get farted on just now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She, she just shit twice. Why is that door so dirty? Oh. <laughs> Speaking of toilet paper. Hold on a second. That's, that was not me. That's not me. Did Courtney do that? That was, that was all Herbert. Look at that. What is on the door? Oh. I mean. <laughs> what is on the door? Look at. That's her. Listen, did you attach the farts to the clip? What is going on? <laughs> is that <purposeful>? Unbelievable. <laughs> no. Where are they at? They have like an industrial size roll of toilet paper. Yeah. Uh, I bet they're in college and they stole it. Maybe. Yeah. All right. What's the next one? You <laughs> 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 stupid. I want to hear her cuss him out. You stupid idiot. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. I mean, I don't know who's picking out I, these clips. I didn't send these in, but I'm actually enjoying them. I think they're funny. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so he's just wearing like a white plain mask and the woman goes eek like a mouse. Listen, Come on. The first person was, was headed to the shitter. It got scared so bad she probably sharted in her pants. To me, that's funny. <laughs> Hit somebody in the face with an industrial roll of toilet paper, which are heavy as fuck. <laughs> the second lady was a geriatric old bitch sitting at her counter that almost just got given a heart attack by a Jason mask. <laughs> <laughs> I I it's like, it's, it's, it's just, hey, listen, don't cross me. Don't cross me today. I've got my finger... <laughs> It's right here. Let's play the uh, third one. Play it. Finger on the shit button. <laughs> Where's play our shit button? Do we have a button we can call up? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a dude? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I like that. Dude, keep playing it. I want to make that my ringtone. Why you got to catch him right out of a poor body? <laughs> <laughs> that guy's front looked like he turned around too fast. <laughs> everybody, so listen, everybody, close your eyes for a second. Herbert, just play the clip because this is going to be my ringtone. Listen, shh, go play it. <laughs> <laughs> I am so confused. Is that, is, is that a dude? Hey, excuse me, I got a, I got a call. I got to take. <laughs> First off, that's a pretty, that, that's a pretty that guy hits notes that though, like actually. Mariah Carey has trouble reaching. <laughs> <laughs> it's, as if it's I, we just need that one on loop. We just need to play that. Play that again, Herbert, because that was awesome. <laughs> it looks like a little mini Ralphie May. <laughs> <laughs> You need that Whitney Houston bodyguard song. Hey, there. wait a second. Can you pause it at the end? Pause. Can you pause that at the end? There's what a shit of legs on the ground, like somebody just fell out right there. So He's look at look good. at the girl. Look at the girl. The definitive girl. I'm not. I'm not sure who's screaming, but the definitive girl to the right. She's just kind of smiling. Now play the clip zoomed in like this. What does she do? 
Hold on, does she know it's coming? Wait. Wait, Not she's unfazed. <laughs> she's all business, man. She's looking for wet wipes in her purse. <laughs> As if it's not it. embarrassing enough that everybody knows you just dropped a huge deuce in a porta potty. <laughs> now some stupid fucking clown has to come scare you to death. And everybody's right watching you because they know he's about to scare you. <laughs> uh, it looks like that guy turned around too fast and his back is in his front, first of all. <laughs> I like it. All right. I think we got one more clip. Uh, we got one more scary clip. Let's go ahead and play whatever you got. He the hooped is fat. <laughs> I do believe go. they call that a front butt. Here we go. Hold on. Front butt. The fupa. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they both. <laughs> That's commitment right there. <laughs> Wild to that's commitment what to do about this <laughs> yeah like that dude had a client that re that trash receptacle does not smell good i mean watch how long it takes <laughs> i run or my <laughs> skirt <laughs> <My shirt. laughs> yeah, i love watching people get scared <laughs> that's it's awesome hilarious. all right all right we're uh, enough getting scared. We need to go to our favorite segment in the entire show. We're going to McDojo. Jumped out hey, the that's this guy. That's right. Who's got a thumb and that's his name? This guy. This guy. All right. Anyway, uh, so let's see here. I'm sorry. I usually have this ready to go. So um, I usually have it written down, but I couldn't find my pen. So I apologize. I got to pull up my phone to see what the thing is. But, you know, one of my favorite things is when you, like, see people showing off, like, their martial arts skills and stuff like that. And uh, it's even better when they get the reporters in on it for like news clips. And then that's what this one's all about. So let's check this one out. Well, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Give me a second. You're more nervous Three. than I am. That's pretty good. I like that. Ready? Okay. Go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Look at how she pops. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, the first time. Usually don't fall down. I just but... like watching this because she pops up. The fail means nothing. Give me a second. <laughs> well, like leave the lower third, man. Tomorrow is safe that. kids' day. Ready? Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 Usually happen right. on the first time. Usually don't Good. fall down, but <laughs> I love this kid. I love this chick. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was what was that sad. wood made out of? I mean, she went through it like uh, like a toothpick. Holy shit. She took a full swing and just went down like a house of cards. Like, I think well, was, let's be clear. Board. Those karate boards are just ridiculous. I've seen like five-year-olds break them. So I don't know what those things are made of, but it's not very strong. Uh, Why is also, it always the most like unathletic looking dude that's like the karate master guy though too it's, it's always the same looking guy I don't know why. It's yeah, like, it's, well <clears throat> what i like about those boards as well as breaking the center blocks is the spacers that everyone uses and they go it doesn't help break the ones beneath it it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't help the gaps not to like mention that girl took a full swing went down and then Popped back up like she was spring loaded. Like that's right. <laughs> she came back up into the frame, which was amazing. Hello. She did you know, like for breaking. So yeah. I got sponsored one time by a cup company called Diamond MMA, and they make like these really good cups. They're actually really really good. And so for advertising, it's like how do I make original content for these people to advertise how good this cup was? Mm -hmm. So I went to the U.S. Open, which is like the biggest karate tournament in the United States. Like some of the better people have competed there: Raymond Daniels, Stephen Thompson, Michael Ben and Page. Right, big names have competed at this tournament. So I went around and I put the cup on and I found people who had first place trophies. And I was like, hey, I want you to kick me in the groin as hard as you can. And I have this great video of like random people like, are you sure? And I got to this dude who did like professional breaking. And so he's like this big dude and he like barrels down and he has like this big deep stance and he really tries to hit me as hard as he can. And like, it was the least I had been hit. I had been hit by like five-year-olds that day. And like, that was the softest I had been hit was by this giant guy who breaks concrete. It's like concrete. Wow. Breaking. And they were they were going for your your gonads. Oh, yeah. I had the cup on. I was like, kick me in my Jimmy. What <laughs> is it? What is it about people who fight in having their their dicks touched all the time? <laughs> well, well, Brinkus, uh, fighting is a pretty popular sport and people want to touch your dick when you're a fighter. I know you don't know anything <laughs> about that. 
I don't know anything Bad. about it. I, 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 I've really been missing out. God. <laughs> what, what makes these cups so good? Is it the size range? Is it it's the how protection they like, level? Is it, what is so it? So like the middle of the cup is kind of shaped like a, like a diamond, right? It's got like kind of a diamond hard shape, but then on the outside edges of the cup, it's got like this, uh, almost like a rubber. So when you get hit, rather than it being a solid cup, it actually pushes the weight out. So like when you get hit. Are you hit, talking about the Nutty Buddies? It's got a crumple zone. It does. <laughs> you, you guys got the Nutty Buddies. Like a Honda Civic, it's got like a rear crumple zone on it. <laughs> Let me add to this too. Diamond Cups sent me cups to, uh, and I've used Diamond Cups for years in my fights. I, I've actually, I actually was using Diamond Cups before they even reached out to me. And what I like about them is the design of the actual jock strap, I think is what oh, yeah. works the most. <laughs> <laughs> they've got like a they've got like a system of straps that comes to the front, goes to the back, and it keeps everything super tight. So I think, you know, the design is it says it's supposed to disperse the hit throughout because of the shape of it, but I think the thing that helps the most is just the design of the jock strap, keeping it keeping everything tight and secure. Yeah, well, you, answered, right. my, you answered my next question is they definitely come in extra small. So now I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right. I love, I would love to talk about cups all day, but let's go to the next clip. <laughs> right. So, so far we've covered a couple like secret techniques in the martial arts, right? We've covered the five on two, right? We've yep. discussed that. Uh, we've classic. covered the oil check, but what we have classic. not covered is the purple nurple. So we're going to show that now. Wait, there's more. Oh, the titty twister? Isn't that bitch? Wow. All this fancy techniques, getting around the punch, how to block the punch, what to do with the punch, and then casual Steve over here on the right. <laughs> with the overalls. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Egg Foo <laughs> Young from Big Trouble in Little China? <laughs> I had a oh. Talking about oh. that guy screaming from being scared. I want this I guy. I didn't know. Nipple twister. You know what, McDojo? I did not know the origin of the titty twister. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ancient, ancient, Asian technique. Technique. ancient, ancient thing. <laughs> Highly effective. I think he might have ripped that guy's nipple off. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The finger. oh, yeah. Look at that. It looks like he's throwing a fastball in a in a slider. He's got a he's got a little split finger going. Oh yeah, love that. Look at that. He's like pretending as though he like actually got something out of tuck touching the guy's junk. Like, oh look, here's his sack. <laughs> love it. He did get something. He scraped off some fun Monday cheese. Would it be right. embarrassing to get a little chub right there, or is you that put, expected? I don't know. You put a competitor's video up. Ancient. My segment. That is a butthole move. Just throwing it Is out that there. a competitor's video? Yes. It's the other You've never guy. posted that video, Dojo? <laughs> you got the generic <laughs> Dojo life. <laughs> hey, listen, Dojo. Uh, it, well, uh, who's this competitor? Because he's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know it was a competitor. <laughs> You're I'm sorry. I, I apologize. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Listen, can we throw? Can we slap a dojo logo logo over it? Just crudely like, paste it, it over the top of their logo. <laughs> we can. We can. So going into that titty twister video, the only thing I could think of is that McDojo has clearly never oil checked anybody because what he said. We talked about the oil check. He went like this. So <laughs> nobody uses one well, finger. Hey, okay. It depends how purposeful it is. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's. Uh, uh, hey, McDojo, do we want to check in with your competitor to see if he's got any other video? <laughs> no, no, I don't want to check in my competitor. <laughs> Screw that guy. All right. I didn't even know it's, you had competitors. Yeah. Keep it going. You're on the top. <laughs> Everybody Keep wants it to Keep it going. Oh, my God. That's it's all big my space. fault. The big space. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Sorry. Shame. Keep Shame. going. But in any any case, I think we've seen a lot of legitimate martial arts on these clips so far today. But this one, I don't trust so much. I don't think this lady actually knows martial arts. Let's roll this next one. Play it, Herbert. <laughs> yeah. the, the audio is important. <laughs> the audio. We need audio. Get the fuck out of here. 
Wait, is this what happened? Are gotta they... play it from the beginning. Play it from the beginning. Oh, re-rack this, Herbert. Herbert, what are you doing? What's wrong with you, Get the fuck out. Get out. Come Get out. Come 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 out. If you come back in, Bandix. I just use you to demonstrate to the fucking officer. I know martial arts. I don't care. <laughs> I don't, I don't, now, there's my fucking blood. Do you want to come next to me again? Fuck off! Ooh. Wow. What, what's going on? What, what's this dispute over? They, they were oh, walking by the, by the greeting card section. So the, lady, so the lady in red actually works at the store. And the other lady came in and didn't wear a mask. So the lady asked her, hey, can you please wear a mask? And rather than just either saying yes or no and putting on a mask or leaving, she starts yeah. going after the lady with like kung fu moves because the lady's Asian. She's like, I know martial arts too. It's like, I never said that I knew martial arts. I just <laughs> happened to be this ethnicity. <laughs> Listen, wow. I respect it. She saw, she knew that she saw a kung fu master and she wanted to test herself. <laughs> Open challenge. Uh, that's what you do. There can be only one. So when you meet another <laughs> one, you've got to take them out, like right there on the spot. Whether it be All in right. a Walgreens or a CBS, you got to take them out. <laughs> hey, there move on to uh, the next video. We, we got called out. All right. This is the last one. And I got to tell you, like, uh, I don't remember what the hell this video is. <laughs> so we're going to we're right. Let's play the video McDojo doesn't remember. Oh, yeah. I remember. Wow. <laughs> God. All right. All right. They're they're doing martial arts right behind a, a Tomcat. Oh, at 14 or something. You've got the Mortal Kombat song going, so you know it's legit. You asking me what does judo? Uh, I can't read. Throw it up to GW. I bet he'll do better. So this dude, right, know. is like a ninja guy. And so he's doing a demonstration, but he's doing a demonstration at a, like, a military base. Well, everybody there on the military base does judo and because that ha happens to be what they're, they're training there, teaching there. So he shows up, and there are two white belts there from judo. And he's like, I need two helpers, volunteers for this demonstration. And, of course, they're not just going to go along with it. <laughs> so, like, he, like – works with them and then one dude the white belt takes his back winds up choking him and then he gets mad about it and he's like look this is the problem with judo like he won he's like this is the problem with judo the problem with judo is once you get my back then what and the guy's like i choke your ass out <laughs> but like the best part is the beginning of the clip because you can hear a guy who's filming going ha ha like every time he gets somebody gets the better of him it's great it's a little piece of gold that you actually train Wow. All right. So listen, uh, you guys are all proud that you guys get your nuts touched while fighting. <laughs> there is a, a clip that exists on the Internet that uh, actually was spoofed on Saturday Night Live, I'm proud to say. And it's got millions of hits and everything. If there's a much younger, skinnier version of John Brinkus, uh, a special clip with that involves my nuts. I figured you guys would like this. This is just a little surprise. I'm roll excited. that. Uh, roll that clip, Herbert. Not interested. Oh, yeah. Well, watch this. <laughs> Never seen him act like such a wuss. <laughs> hey, should he use a diamond cup? This is called the dumb idea. I don't know about I, I, I don't know about this. Come on, John. Grow a pair. We need a target. Honestly, man, is, is this going to hurt me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get hit nuts. I'm not going to just hurry up. John, you're unlucky. Is this a good idea? I mean, is this coupling upside down or something? Sweat a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Looking a little hey, pasty John, there. Yeah. Don't move, John. You're going to be okay. Three, two, one. Oh, the money shot. Oh. Wow, that's, off, that, 
Look at those legs. Oh my God. <laughs> First of all, I weighed about a hundred pounds less than. <laughs> no way you could support those moves you got now on those legs you had then. Oh not- my you God. that guy in your jock strap for the original stoked crew. I need to know <laughs> what the margin of error is on that pitching machine too. Like, I, it that's why we moved it closer. So we had the, we had the target and we originally had it, you know, like 10 feet back and it kept hitting all over the place. So I'm like, Oh my God, this is going to hit me in my bladder. And my bladder is going to explode. So we had to move it up to like three feet away. It was a ridiculous, 90 mile an hour fastball, like three feet away. The hurry, you can't say I had two kids after that. <laughs> hey, you can't blame Herbert. the pitching machine because the target was really small. I'm just saying. That's right. <laughs> if I was in control here, I'd tell Herbert to queue up that fart machine. <laughs> I don't know. Listen. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Nice. The only way that video would have been funny is if when they were testing the accuracy of it, they made you stand there and get hit in the thighs with baseballs over <laughs> until you got it right. No, nope, that's not it. Oh, let's let's do it again. Oh, oh, we're still missing. <laughs> Just another 30, 40 more takes and we'll zero this in. <laughs> is that the same cup that, that these guys oh. were talking about, the diamond cup or whatever? That was not it. <laughs> that was not it. All right, gotcha. Wow. All right, so let's move on. We got uh, we got to keep the show rolling. We got creep of the week. Chaz, you're the creep. Oh, yeah. not in this video. I'm not. So, guys, taking a nice little stroll, decides to get some street side pizza, probably New York style pizza, and then sees some pretty women dancing in the clubs. So what's he do? Takes a seat and watches. Roll the video. Do it. That's like no This guy's not going anywhere. Well, I mean, hold on a second. We're saying he's the creep. <laughs> well, I mean, it. Wait a minute. Hold on. We don't. Well, what response is she trying to get? She's trying to get people to peek in on her. Well, clearly based off the song, she don't want no scrub. It's not like that's her private apartment or something. It's probably <laughs> part of the combo meal. You get a slice of soda and uh, something. To watch <laughs> sure. Oh, well, I got, I got, I got Courtney in my ear going, that guy's a creep. That guy's a creep. I'm like, if you don't want him to gaze, stop twerking in the window. <laughs> well, he doesn't have to pull up a seat and cheers everybody with his pizza. He could, you know, take a look and keep on walking. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like an old school children's song? Who's that twerker in the window? That, that guy was about <laughs> pulling out a bottle of Jergens. I think it's how much is the twerker in the window? Is that's how it goes? <laughs> yeah, might be. I, I, all right. I, I don't know. I'm. I listen. I don't think that guy is like a class act, but I'm certainly not going to call him a creep. I mean, jeez. Yeah, he, okay. he was borderline. He was. What, borderline. What's the standard? Where Where does the creep line start? Well, <laughs> I, the creep line. If that was that girl's in her own apartment, I could get it. Like, ooh, there's a creepy guy looking in the window. But that was the point of doing it was to get someone to look. <laughs> so, On a scale of like Chaz to me, with Brinkus <laughs> being in the middle, <laughs> he's probably somewhere between Chaz and Brinkus. I'd say. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I got. I listen. I don't want. I don't want to die on this hill this day. But I'm not sure that guy's a creep. I'm not hmm. sure about that. We'll have to if he had a pineapple on that pizza, it tree. would be guaranteed he was a creep. <laughs> All right. All right. We move on. Move on. Are we going to fight of the week? Let's do it. Fight Is of the that week. What we're doing? Yeah. I better see some good Photoshop art on this shit. Best. Oh no! I didn't do any Photoshop this week. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah. So the fight of the week this week is uh, Teixeira versus Santos. <laughs> no, no Photoshop? We're just going to watch this for the whole segment. No. Can't give you guys Photoshop every week. I got to let you know how good you have it. Well, all right. Keep trying to give your fight of the week. Go ahead. No. What do the burnt parts smell like? I, every time I see that, I wonder that. <laughs> All right, keep going. No Photoshop, you said? (laughs) 
familia. <laughs> If you don't want to Photoshop, this is what's going to happen. He said fight of the week, not fart of the week. Come oh. on, <laughs> Pronunciations, <No>. everything. <laughs> very close, but different. Go ahead, Jazz. Are we... Show us the yeah. Photoshop oh. file. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, let them go. Let them talk. Jeez. All right, fight of the week we got uh, Teixeira versus Santos. This uh, this fight has really big title implications here. And I believe, is it? It's light heavyweight, isn't it? Yeah, light heavyweight. This this fight has really big title implications. Uh, Glover Teixeira is an, an older guy, but he's been on a tear. You know, he he's done really well. He looked excellent in his last fight against against Anthony Smith. You know, Smith was a younger, more athletic guy, and Teixeira just outlasted him, you know, just uh, kind of weathered the storm in the first round and then started putting combinations together, you know, won the grappling exchanges, and and he's looked really good lately. Santos is an absolute beast. You know, his fight with John Jones was kind of questionable. You know, people were saying they thought that John Jones might have lost that fight. Um, I think it's one of those things where if somebody keeps it close with John Jones, people are going to say that he lost it because people love to hate him. You know, he, he's one of the greatest, if not the greatest mixed martial artist of all time. So people love to hate the guy. So serious title implications. I think it's going to be a really good fight. I'm excited, man. Yeah, I agree. That's yeah. going to be a smoker, man. To, yeah. to share is an, an older dude, but man, he is still spot on. One of the toughest dudes in that division and fun to watch. So, yeah, his last fight, fight. I can't wait. Breaks off of that dude. He's uh, yeah. he's doing really well for like being up there. I mean, and potentially this could be his last real run at the title. He he yeah. picked apart Anthony Smith right. and pretty much, pretty much slowed him down. And, and wasn't Anthony and Smith the dude that was handing teeth to the referee? Yeah. yeah, he says like my teeth are falling out in between rounds, and they put him back out there for another round before it got called, which was a little a little odd. All right. Let's move on to uh, picks. Keep going and show us your Photoshop files. Next <laughs> week, I'll do Photoshops. I treat this show like I treat my girlfriend. I can't give her everything all the time. I got to wow, kind of keep that's... her self-esteem low, keep her interested in me, let her know mm. there's more to more to give. Okay? Got it. <laughs> so my all very right, first pick. Tease. Yeah. My very first pick was uh, Gustavo Lopez at minus 110. He's fighting a guy, Anthony Burchek, who – there he is. He's fighting a guy, Anthony Burchek, who um, was in the UFC for a stint. Uh, this makes me feel kind of old because I, I fought on a couple, couple cards with Burchek, and then he, got, then he got cut from the UFC, and now he's back four years later. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's been four years. Uh, so, but, but this guy had a, had a really good fight his last time out. I think he's, I think he's a solid young guy, and I'm willing to – to throw a couple bones at him at minus 110. Uh, my next pick was a four-man parlay. It's Darren Elkins, Alexander Romanoff, Giga Chick, Chick Daisy, and Rayoni Barcelos. There's actually no picture of that. Uh, what happened to regular-ass names? What happened to, like, Steve Smith? You can't <laughs> – wouldn't be able to pronounce any of that shit. <laughs> That's kind of racist. Sound out um, the big words. I think Sound people from words. different cultures in different countries deserve opportunities to fight in the UFC. But I agree. I they need to name. deal out with their the, naming not, their fucking kids. The <laughs> These names are ridiculous. I can't. I cannot pronounce any of them. <laughs> Just right, so phonetically. What's this parlay? These are four. These are four fights that I I'm pretty confident in. Um, I normally don't do a four man parlay. The most I'll do is three. I usually just do two. But I'm very confident in all these fights. Um, the odds are pretty heavy on most of them, except for Elkins. Uh, I'm going with Elkins, even though I do think that there's a chance he could get caught and knocked out. He's fighting a pretty good guy. But uh, Elkins put a spanking on me, so I'm going with him, baby. Uh, so my next fight, my next pick is Romanoff versus De Lima. We bet on Romanoff last time, and I think he got the coronavirus, so I'm hoping that uh, he's got his mask on there. I hope he keeps it clean this time. 
Romanov is an absolute stud, man. This guy is just a stud. So I'm actually betting on this fight to go under a round and a half. I'm also betting on Romanov to win in the first round by I'm putting a small amount. I'm putting the same amount on him to win in first round by submission and first round by TKO, because what's going to happen is he's going to come out and he's going to get the takedown right away. And then he's going to start pounding away. And DeLima is either going to give his back or give his arm or something like that. I don't know if Romanoff's going to get the finish by submission or TKO, but submission in the first round is plus 500, I think, or plus, no, 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 plus 350. And TKO is plus 500. So I'm putting small bets on both. They'll both show a return if either one of them hit. Isn't it's it kind hard of to pick a winner here because it's obvious both of these guys are using the same trainer that Brinkus uses on a weekly basis. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Why do That's they wear right. masks at the, at the weigh-ins? Like, they're about to bleed and sweat and beat the crap out of each other, like be face-to-face -face blood and sweat and spit dripping in faces and orifices, but they yeah. got to wear when they weigh in what does it, it doesn't make, make any sense to me either uh a lot of the guys if you watch the face-offs a lot of the guys are pulling their masks down when they do the actual face-off i think it's, it's just because there there are um people in the staff around in the back in the back when you're coming up there's you know all the ufc staff i'm sure they they have strict protocol so it's they the just same logic that has you wear a mask in a restaurant until you sit down <laughs> and then you yeah. take it off. Unless <laughs> we don't let the random acts of safety. Yeah. I guess. All right, we're moving on. Don't do this. That's what we're doing. Don't do this. River clap video. Let's play it. <laughs> I got a lot of confidence there. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he going to go to? Well, He's gone. What did he think was going to happen? <laughs> is he dead? Gone. <laughs> Never to. Hold on. That you dude know, is. Hold on. The dude to the left. And it's not pretty. <laughs> I mean, that, that dude to the left. Has, look at it. He looks surprised. <laughs> like, like what were the, what were the possible outcomes? <laughs> like, the best possible either... outcome is that there's a waterfall right there. <laughs> Yeah. All right. That on his I face, like, oh, Phil's dead. River clap sounds like something you get at an old Miss frat party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More like a float trip. That's hilarious. <laughs> I've had it. It's not pretty. I've had ocean clap. It's probably bigger than river clap. I don't know. <laughs> <Is that laughs> All right. Let's play a dodge this video. I think this is our last clip. One of the last. Oh, I see. Uh -oh. Oh, don't do it. Uh -oh. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Rock kick. <Damn>. Oh! <laughs> <You're> an idiot! <laughs> wow. Oh, man, that video at full speed would be so there much better. Look at it. Oh! That's the money. Man! It, he was this close to having the head go between the legs, which would have been amazing. He caught the oh, knee. Oh, that would have been great. He would have straddled yeah. that face. It would have been a home run, a 10. A 10. What a way to go. What yeah. a way. Imagine Unreal. dying by balls to the face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, three inches at 90 miles an hour could do some damage, my friend. I know that personally. Yeah. And then when everybody's recounting the story, they're like, yeah. and, then, and then what hit his face? His balls. His balls. <laughs> he got killed That's by a, a pair of balls going too. 90 miles an hour. The pastor yeah. comes up. Everyone loved him. He was a great yeah. man, beloved by his community. Hated balls. <laughs> wow. He loved yeah, water slides. He loved the water. <laughs> Teabag right. to death. All right, <laughs> we're going to go out strong here. Our last video is called Dodge This Video. And Courtney is giving her a 100% guarantee that it's awesome. Get the fart ready. I think it's called Dodge Team. <laughs> Vit audio, audio. Right. You audio. have to have audio. Get the fart ready. <laughs> is she wearing high heels? Gravity. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. There's no, oh, the there's, really there's no way she makes it. There's no way she makes no it. No way she makes it. No, there's not a. It's just a matter of she hits her. her friend gets so excited. <laughs> there's no way. 
They're filming her from both sides. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh! <laughs> so close. I had such high hopes for that lady. Oh, shouldn't have had that what? last cheeseburger. You were one Herbert, cheeseburger rack up, shy rack up the video. We got to hear the woman laughing at the end there. Her friend's response be awesome. is the best part. The suspense of this video was gold. Because they know what's going to happen. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Hold on. They were like two seconds from having to eat the bro. <laughs> Almost made it. Listen to this woman. This might be my ringtone. At least the heavy smoke. <laughs> She's like, made it. Made it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Ralphie May. I mean, it looks just like him. Dude, that is one of the best clips ever. That that, that, is, that, that is awesome. Herbert, just play that again for me. Please. You know he had, to, he had to turn around and go right back in the portal to clean himself up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Last thoughts. Uh, McDojo, what do you got for us? Um, I'm going to go with I have nothing today. I wasn't prepared to be first. It was too quick. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I right, got Chaz. one point, actually. The next Chaz, time y'all need a fake martial arts clip, don't go with the, the, the off brand, the generic brand. Go with the real guy, all right? Don't don't mess around with that fake generic fake martial all arts right. stuff. You get the real thing. Right. You're right. It, that clip wasn't funny. Chaz. <laughs> all right guys just remember all the funny clips that were sent in today were sent in by me so i'm the funniest person on this show next <laughs> that's false that's false so we opened up with the guy streaky <laughs> oh that actually was really funny <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, right away. and that actually is my final thought i will be uh if anyone wants to meet me um in Doraville, Georgia, at 8 p.m. tonight, I will be streaking like those first guys in that show. Um, I'll do it alone. I'll do it with a crowd, whatever. I think we just need more stoke, and these guys are on the right track. So I'm going to be out tonight raising the stoke in my neighborhood. I suggest that everyone does the same thing. I'm going to combine Grab it your all. jock strap. Meet him. Yeah. I want to go out running like the stoke, and I want to like learn like what it means to get your oil checked. All at the same time. <laughs> that's, that's what I want. Well, um, all right. I would advise Hard you starting with McDojo because he does one finger. Yeah. <laughs> Don't that's go so right into a chat. Ease into it. Right? Ease into no, it. Everybody ease else into it. the whole ass There's plan, levels to this right? shit. I'm, I'm going to ease right. into it. We'll go one finger. Hey. Right <laughs> um, all right. Listen, if you want to submit your videos, submit them on, with the hashtag rumble time live we'll put that somewhere in the uh notes on the bottom make sure you uh drink more kill cliff make your drink whole happy everybody have a great shirt. weekend stay safe god bless go buy this shirt right here kill buy that shirt right now right there drink first oh what drink, drink fast. first drink fast stay tasty stay that is tasty. a good shirt that's a nice shirt great shirt, shirt is very tasty it looks good on me doesn't it chess <laughs> Oh, are you guys going to make me go on the website and fucking buy it? You can't just send me one? <laughs> we don't make them in Schmedium, so we're going to have to special order you one, man. Exactly. Well, good thing I'm an extra large because I'm fat as shit. <laughs> hey, sandwiches are delicious. <laughs> I'm going to go practice my pillow fighting. That guy was a badass. <laughs> oh, look, coming down the runway is Kill Cliff, the clean energy drink. It's a brand new can. Oh, look how the colors pop. Boom. Boom. Oh, beautiful tan. The front, the back. Gorgeous. Oh, and the flavor. It's still the same awesome taste. I want it in my mouth right now. Oh, so sexy. Go to killcliff.com. Oh, do it now.